Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Raptor. Uh, this is a piece of software that's used for um, keeping drivers up to date, uh, recording gameplay and streaming gameplay, and for optimizing titles so that they run as well as they can on your system. Uh, Intel at GDC this year have just announced uh, support for their products in Raptor so we're taking a look at this on a Asus laptop with Iris 5100 graphics and having just installed it we can see a couple of the things here first of all it is alerting us that our drivers are out of date so we can update to the latest 4080 version of the drivers uh, we also have some of the recording features here and it's telling us that one of our titles is not optimized. So if we click through here, it will now show us the games that are installed on the systems. In fact, well, it won't. It's already automatically optimized it, but if we click onto library, it will show us the game. So we have Grid Auto Sport. If we revert, you can see so I had been running it at TTP and high detail by the looks of it. And they don't just um, have sort of the game's low, medium, high settings. They actually test the titles and offer recommendations based on how they have profiled the game to run. So here you can see, say for quality as the default option here, we have this sliding scale of performance through to graphical quality. So some features it's turning down, like ambient occlusion, it recommends we have this ultra low, whereas things like anisotropic filtering, it's actually recommending ultra high. Uh, other things like turn down crowds, but turn up ground cover. And if we slide this around, we can see that the settings it recommends for peak performance are basically very low with high track quality and some of the other bits on sort of low. So they've clearly put time into testing games on these solutions to get the best experience for the player. You've also got options in here, so you've got the ability to record, and so you've got things in here. We can say different quality settings, so different bit rate. And as I believe these are using QuickSync video for doing the encoding. So the built-in video encoder in the Intel processors. So this should offer good performance. There's, there'll likely still be some loss of performance. It won't be, you know, 100% as you'd see normally. But um, it should offer video recording of your gaming sessions and the option to stream to Twitch as well. Um, in a way that is actually usable on Intel's graphics chips, or sorry, processors with integrated graphics, as opposed to full CPU-based encoding with programs like Fraps or PlayClaw, would likely just have too much overhead, uh, use too much power, and create an unplayable experience. I hope you found this video interesting. Um, the application is free as part of the work between Intel and Raptor, so take a look and try it out. Um, if you don't like it, you can always remove it, so certainly something worth taking a look at. hope you found this video interesting. Be sure to check out the other content on our channel for more. Thanks for watching.